What's up, Ozone? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to a video about Security Breach. We are now 16 days away from Security Breach. Uh, actually, no, it's 16 when I'm recording. It will be 15 when this is uploaded. Um, it is the 1st of December, which is great, um, which means we're in the month of Security Breach. This is completely insane. December is going to be a crazy month for me in a lot of different ways including exams. But yeah, I'm very excited for Security Breach, as you can probably tell. Um, and I think it's a really good time to kind of theorize about what's going to happen, predict what's gonna happen, how it's gonna end. And I have a very good idea of how it's all going to end. Now you may have seen my game theory reaction where MatPat talked a lot about Circus Baby uh, and Eleanor kind of coming back. Um, and although I really kind of liked that whole story idea, I think that could have worked really well for Security Breach, I don't think it's going to happen at all. There's a few reasons I think this. Um, first of all, if we're saying that, it, that Eleanor is essentially Elizabeth, uh, or is essentially Circus Baby, and all of it is is in the same kind of this, uh, in the same continuity as the games then Eleanor's dead right Eleanor is literally the whole tentacle thing happens at the end of the stitch phrase stingers and Eleanor is gone okay so that means there's no more Eleanor but also I just don't think that it is something that Elizabeth would really do sure we know that the fire didn't necessarily work in FNAF 6 we know that Afton is returning, we know that the puppet might be returning, and it's possible that Circus Baby, uh, Elizabeth might be returning as well, but I don't think as the main antagonist. And I don't like saying this, honestly, because I think it's a very cool plot, but you have to consider that this isn't the way that this is going to go. And I, and I, think, I don't think there is gonna be a massive twist like that. I think it is going to be literally Vanny rebuilding Afton a suit and Afton um, and Afton being the big bad. <laughs> we do know that there's boss battles in the game um, so I feel like the last boss is going to be Afton and that's it. There's no twist. Um, well there might be a twist but not necessarily Elizabeth being the big bad. But I want to talk about something else because something else that Matt Pat mentioned was that Fred Bears may be in the pizza plex and i completely agree with that this was actually a video that i was going to make um right before matt pat made his video so I'm, I'm kind of upset that i didn't make it now but i think it's pretty obvious now anyway we got these posters from dorco's charity stream and they're very very interesting i haven't actually talked about them on the channel yet but um they're so cool. Um, a lot of people pointed out that these are Fredbear's family diner pictures, but Freddy is on the picture. And I don't know if that is a retcon or an inconsistency or just, you know, just a complete mistake, you know, an inaccuracy. Um, and I think it could have been an inaccuracy. Um, it also does say Freddy, but also know that it's, it's very possible well, we know that Fred Bears was open at the same time as Freddy's at one point, so maybe they could have come together. I don't know. I don't know about that, but um, it, that's kind of cool to think about. Um, these posters are so sick. I've been waiting for something like this for ages, and we finally got them. Um, I thought more of this sort of thing would appear in, um, in the Ultimate Guide, but it didn't, unfortunately. Um, spoilers. <laughs> My idea of how Security Breach is going to go is there's going to be um, a lot of running away from Vanny, blah blah blah, trying to escape the pizza plex. And then there is, I would say maybe it's a secret area. Maybe, maybe it's not in the main like continuity of the game. It's kind of like a side thing. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of side quests in this game for some reason. Uh, I feel like there's gonna be like a side quest where you play Monty's golf course and a side quest where you win the, the race, the motorcycle race or whatever it is. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of side things to do because it can't, it cannot just be a linear game, right? We know that. It can't just be, oh, I'm at the Pizza Plex, 
oh I'm out the Pizzaplex, that's the game, there's nothing else left to explore. There's gonna be so much to explore, there's gonna be so many mini games, so many cutscenes, so many boss battles, and I don't know how many of them are going to be compulsory. And I have a feeling that it could be a secret that there is a Fredbear's family diner uh, inside of the Pizzaplex and they covered it up. Um, I, I feel like that's very possible. It's something that Fazbear Entertainment would absolutely do as well. When you think about it, they've been trying to cover up the bad rep for ages now. They built a VR game to um, to cover up the bad representation from, from, from previous events. They made a special delivery system, but it got um, hacked or whatever by Vanny and the security systems were turned off. So that's why FNAF AR happened. And now, we're, we've get, we're getting a Pizzaplex and nothing is supposed to go wrong with this. All of this was built for entertainment, uh, to bring Fazbear Entertainment back as the number one um, entertainment... Pro entertainment... What would, you, what would you call it? Entertainment... Uh, entertainment company, there we go. Entertainment company in, the, uh, in America. You know, they're, they, they're, they're building this Pizzaplex um, for good rep and it's gonna go wrong again just like FNAF AR did, just like FNAF AR did, and it's all Vanny's fault. And I really, really hope that Fred Bears is going to be hidden here, and we're going to be able to walk inside and see the stage, maybe even Golden Freddy. That would be sick if there's an old Golden Freddy in there, and that is, oh, that would be so cool if that's how Golden Freddy is incorporated in this. Um, obviously, it might not be Cassidy, slash crying child um it might be a different suit but i don't know how that would work so let's not go into that it would just be really cool if something like that happened um the way i've seen it is imagine you're just wandering through the pizzaplex and then you find a secret crease in the wall or something that's not supposed to be there and then you find a way to break down the wall you walk through the wall and right there is like a broken down sign saying Fred Bear's Family Diner with a building that's kind of shattered windows and everything and it's kind of like its own its own room and then like, like the, the entire diner is encapsulated in a room that would be very cool uh, and then you walk in and out of the room you see like, like a like a spring trap you see the purple hand and then out comes Afton, and then that's the final battle. I would really love to see that, or a secret boss, or something like that. That would be so cool. We get to learn a lot more about Fredbear's family diner. We get to learn a lot more about where the pizza plex is located, and a lot of ju uh, just about Afton and his history. And it would be so cool. It would give closure to the series as well as a whole, and I would love that. And I think it's where Security Breach is going. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I will see you tomorrow for another video. We're going to be do, doing a video every day up until the release of Security Breach. Tell me guys what you think in the comments below and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.